Hi friends, I'm Anna Hellman. Thanks for being here. Today I want to talk about dyes and a way to use dyes that is very possible you have never thought about doing before. When you try this trick, you can really step up your card making and find new ways to use those products that are already in your collection. Let's take a look. Here are a few of the dies from my die collection. These are some of my basic shapes that I love so much. These right here are from a set called Stylish Shapes. These are from a set called Scallop Contours. So here's my question. Have you ever used the dies in your collection to cut your card bases? Cut your card bases. What am I talking about? Here is what I am talking about. Instead of using those just to cut a single layer and put on top of one of your cards, have you ever used your dies and here I have a folded piece of cardstock like a card base. Have you ever run these through like this to cut the actual base for your card? Here is one. After I run that through my machine, what am I going to get? I'm going to get this right here. And when I open it, it's being a little bit unruly right now. I have this adorable little circle shaped card. Now, when I first started doing this, I wasn't sure that the dies with the dots, the little dot detail or the stitching detail, wasn't sure how that would work, how it would transfer through to the second, to the back side. But I am very pleased with how these have worked. So you can use just basic dies. You can use the ones with stitching if you like. But I have a couple of examples of these I'm really excited to share with you. Here is my first one. And then we're going to put one together, uh, together, put one together, together. Uh, but here is one. And I really like these layering shapes dies because I used the larger one in this set to cut my card base. And then I used the next biggest size to cut that mat that I put on the front with the designer paper there. So uh, this set, I'll show you what I used to decorate this. I used a nice new set called Timeless Arrangements. I'll show it to you here. Uh, this has these sweet little tiny greetings on it and these little delicate uh, branches and foliage pieces. And here is the die set. Now, what I love about this die set is we took these detailed little delicate pieces and they're actually attached to a larger piece. So I'll show you this here as we look at this one and then create another one here in a second. But I just thought I'd show you that real quick. But I cut some of those branches. It was easy to attach them in the background because of that long strip they're attached to. And then I popped up that Reading, added one of these adorable little brass butterflies that I love so much and created the little mat for the inside as well. It says, hope your day is filled with everything good. And I stamped some of those branches over here. Now, isn't this adorable? Like little tiny cards, adorable, right? So if you like little tiny cards, uh, if you're wondering what to do with them, uh, these are some three by three envelopes. These fit in perfectly. I will have links to all these products in the video description below if you're interested, but you can put them in a little card. These make such nice, like just because little things to brighten people's days. So let's say you just want to make somebody's day better. Give it to the cashier when you check out or the teller at the bank or, uh, somebody that you run into on your day. Or if you don't really like the idea of tiny cards, you're not sure what you would do with them. Here's another idea. You can take your smaller card and attach it to a larger piece to make it a normal card. So uh, I would probably use something blue to coordinate, but just to give you an example, you can either attach this to the front of a regular card and there would actually be two layers to open. Uh, or you can just attach it to a pe single piece of cardstock and decorate that background. And then this would be the part that opens right here. So those are two ideas. Now let's look at another one with one of these other dies that is going to look completely different, but also really neat. And here it is. I used my scalloped contour die for this one love this die set. I've used it a ton. And then I use some smaller ones. I used uh, this smaller one to create this piece for the front with that pretty new countryside in designer paper. And then I've already created my piece for the inside. This was a middle size of die that I used. 
and I've put that piece right here on the inside. So I want to go ahead and decorate this. Let's look at how we're going to do that. Bring in some of these dies that I've created. Aren't these blues just beautiful? The card base is Misty Moonlight. This lighter blue is called Boho Blue, one of our new colors. And I have a greeting already created here. This is one of the dies from the Timeless Arrangement set. Now, I love my little messy thread. Did you see my messy thread on this one? On this one, I attached those die cuts and then I attached some thread and then I put my tag across the front. We're gonna do this one a little bit different. I thought I would show you this because sometimes I get questions on how to attach that thread. Uh, my method of choice is usually to put some adhesive down and then just start winding it around. And each time I go, I stick it into that adhesive and come back around. So at some point I will lay my pieces on here and make sure it is looking kind of the way I want to. Sometimes I wrap it too big, sometimes I wrap it too small and I don't really like the way it looks, but you can always lay your pieces on, see what it's gonna look like, and I think that is looking great. So I think I'll wrap it one more time, then we'll add our die cuts to this. How many times am I wrapping? I'm not really sure, I've lost track. I can't count to three today, it seems like. So that's okay. Most of the time I don't need to count to three to craft, but you know, sometimes, sometimes, some days we have a struggle, right? Okay. So uh, here you can see, if you didn't already look at this up close, see how those delicate pieces are attached to this nice strip that makes it so easy to attach to my card. So I am going to cut off these longer pieces that kind of stick out the end and they probably wouldn't show, but just in case this will give me a little bit less to need to hide behind my greeting when I add that in. Okay, now this, my friends, this is fantastic. I am going to bring in my silicone craft mat you could do this on some regular scrap paper, but I love that if I get some extra adhesive over the edge, it does not stick to this mat. So we'll lay these on here. I'm just gonna run some of my adhesive across here. Okay, if you get frustrated with little detailed die cuts, I love these little detailed branches because they're so pretty. Like you can use them on all kinds of cards. Uh, but if you get frustrated with how detailed they are and getting them attached. These right here are pretty fantastic. So I'll just press those down right there in the center. Have my white ones ready to put on top. Just decide where I want them. Press those down. Now I am ready to attach this piece right over top and I've been debating how many pop-ups to use on these. Let's use a few dimensionals here. And then you can see I have my little thanks greeting. I thought all of the, I stamped three different stamps on this greeting tag. I can, we can look at them here in a second when I flip it over, but I thought it needed something just a little more. So we have a very big thanks from the bottom of my heart. And I stamped the word thanks in a darker color in the misty moonlight to get it to stand out a little bit, but it just didn't, it wasn't doing it for me. So I thought it needed something a little extra. So I stamped thanks on a separate piece to pop up just like this. Now I had some of these butterfly, or I had one of the butterflies on that other card and I just, Love these. I love, I love embellishments that I don't have to worry about mailing my cards. You know, the flat ones. Uh, I like for them to not be real big and bulky, but I still want them to be pretty. And I love these brass butterflies for that reason. So, okay, let's look at our finished card right here. A very big thanks from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you. 
And again, the little thank you circle card. Hope your day is filled with everything good. Hope this gives you some ideas for new ways to use those dies in your collection. Thanks so much for being here. If you're new, please subscribe while you're here. I'll have links to all the products in the video description below if you're interested in adding any of them to your collection. I appreciate those of you who shop with me and I hope you have a blessed day and hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.